Hello, friends, and thank you for joining me here in another day with the Bible through the year. Uh, my name is Leo Lozano, one of the associate pastors here at Revive GMC in Pasadena, Texas. Uh, today, we will read from Matthew 6, and we're going to finish off Matthew 6 today. We're reading from verse 19 to 34. I am reading from the New Living Translation, but you know, you can follow along in whichever translation you prefer, the one we you have in front of you. The important thing is to show up <laughs> and read. So let us go together to the Word of God. And as always, I will share a small reflection at the end. But the the real work is uh, for you to spend a few minutes, you know, uh, reflecting on the Word of God and to, you know, think about what is God speaking to your life. And so throughout the day, you don't have to do that right away after the episode, but throughout the day, you know, think about it, read the, the, the verses again and, and ask the Spirit of God to speak to your heart. And if you ever want to share that with us, hey, you can leave a comment on YouTube, you can leave a comment on uh, Facebook, or if you are reading it, you're listening through Spotify or Apple Podcasts, you know, you can do it through social media. Find us on Instagram, Revive GMC, and feel free to share the episode on your stories and, you know, tag us and let us know what God spoke to your own life. So let us go to the Word of God. Don't store up treasures here on earth where moths eat them and rust destroys them and where thieves break in and steal. Store your treasures in heaven where moths and rust cannot destroy and thieves do not break in and steal. Whatever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will also be. Your eye is a lamb that provides light for your body. When your eye is good, your whole body is filled with light. But when your eye is bad, your whole body is filled with darkness. And if the light you think you have is actually darkness, how deep that darkness is. No one can serve two masters, for you will hate one and love the other. You will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns. For your heavenly Father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to Him than they are? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? And why worry about your clothing? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. Yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, He will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things, saying, What will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your Heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. May I tell you, I love this passage. I love how, you know, I don't know what God speaks to your heart right now, but to me, it's just a word of, trust me. It's okay. You know, it is normal, I think, <laughs> to worry. Um, I mean, we all have jobs to keep, right? Bills to pay, mouths to feed. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know if you have little kids like me, um, but you do worry, right? When, when times are rough. But here is an invitation to trust, an invitation to have faith, um, because, you know, we don't always are in control, or come on, let's be honest, most of the time, we're not in control of what happens to us, right? 
that that's life. It, it just happens. You can have the best plans. You can have, you know, the best education and the best work ethic and you name it. But sometimes life just happens, right? But I love the fact that God is in control over those things that we are not in control of. And so when those things happen, we can either worry or be afraid, or we can see that as an invitation to trust God and exercise faith, right? And that is what Jesus is inviting us to, to, to take those things in life and to, and to choose to trust, to choose to have faith, to, to recognize that, yeah, even in those areas where I, I have no power over, God's okay. <laughs> God is not shocked by my circumstances. And God is a good God who will take care of you and me. So, yeah, let us rest on that word today. And may the Spirit of God give you the peace that you need and the comfort that you need and even the joy that you need. Thank you for listening, and I hope we can meet again tomorrow uh, so we can continue to seek God in His Word. Thank you for being here, and again, hope, hope I'm hopeful that we will meet again tomorrow. God bless you.